Hello everyone, as you can see, I'm surrounded by incredibly beautiful, small-scale precious plastic machines. And in today's video, we're gonna learn more about the magic world of precious plastic Turin. Okay, so I just arrived in Turin, but I got off in the wrong station and yeah, now Ivan is uh, coming and pick me up. <laughs> Damn it. Finalmente. Being in Italy, first things first. Food. Pasta. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Hey Precious Plastic, I'm Ivan from Precious Plastic Torino. Today I want to show you my workspace. Okay, so today we are here with Ivan from uh, Precious Plastic Torino. We're gonna have a look at his workspace. Is part a museum, part a lab, part a machine shop. There's a lot of very interesting stories in there. I've learned a ton about plastic, his history. And so today we wanna share with you all the knowledge that Ivan has on plastic yeah. and the quite incredible work that he's doing here in Turin. Ta-da! <laughs> Let me start the tour of this space from this very important product. Because everything starts from here. The polypropylene was invented in Italy by Giulio Natta, that was a Nobel Prize in the 1950. And the Moplin was the company that the first time produced polypropylene objects. This is very special because it has a very good design. It is um, called Shredmaster. It was created for having a long life. It has very thick plastic walls. It has 50 years, so it's almost new. This is really a crazy experience to be holding this product. It's a plastic product, but you can tell it's designed to last. The walls are thick. Everything is built strong. Everything is built to last. It's an eye-opener. You know, you see that the problem is not the material. The problem is how we design the material. The problem is the throwaway culture that is built in this mass-produced plastic that we are basically born with. And this product shows us that it, this doesn't have to be the way. This wasn't the way. This is just been the last few decades, but plastic itself is not the problem. How you use it is the problem. I like to show you collection point plastic object that we found on the beaches. The design object that we want to make with this plastic is uh, to tell people that uh, plastic can be reused but is dangerous in the nature. A corner of strange objects maybe. It starts with the molds. For example, this is made with chalk. This is a toy from uh, my daughter. And this is the result. That uh, is very good. The aluminum is stronger and so you can put plastic 1000 um, times. These are objects that we found uh, on the beaches. So many strange stuff uh, like uh, very old uh, bottles, uh, a lot of toys, soldier toys. Uh, it looks like a stone, but uh, it's plastic burned on a fire in the beach. This one we found uh, in the Po River, probably is an industrial uh, test. Next, I want to show you a little collection of uh, plastic hearts that uh, we found on the beaches. We have uh, plastic, we have foam, we have petrol, we have another kind of foam. This is a very beautiful uh, shell. It's 50% uh, plastic and 50% of natural hearts that we found on the beaches. I think it's a super cool uh, project. It starts with the vintage toys that I felt in love when I was a child. Here we have different kind of plastic starting from face mask, bottle caps, mixed plastic it starts from HDPE and here we have polypropylene so these are the mixed and this is again bottle caps and this is the original yeah. 
in uh, this plastic museum you can also find uh, very vintage uh, objects like uh, this one that is a chocolate mold and it's very beautiful it has no point of injection of entering of plastic or other material for plastic we have used a single side with a frame, a steel frame in the top with a hole and uh, here is the entering of plastic and uh, this is the result that it's uh, super. I like to show you this machine that is a thermoforming machine. This is a dental machine. It's very easy to recycle plastic with this machine because uh, here we have a plastic bottle and these are sheet that are just cut from the, the plastic bottle and just putting in vacuum forming you have temperature and vacuum that produce this kind of product so you can easily have a final result i think it's very good this is super interesting actually. I've uh, only seen thermoforming with new plastic up until now. So I was very pleased to find out that you actually can just simply use a bottle that you will be thrown away, yeah. cut out in a, in, a, in a square and then you just put it in a thermoforming machine and then you have a very precise product that would yeah. be very difficult to make otherwise. Yeah. So my goodness, this technique is actually <laughs> A little gem from uh, even. We don't like to um, produce. We, we want to test uh, machines and to explain people uh, how uh, they they works. Here we have uh, my family that uh, is always with me to show this uh, beautiful uh, project. Super cool, even uh, very interesting stuff all around here. But you also know that our people love machines and you do yeah. incredible machines so can you show us your machine arsenal in the back and you know all the crazy machines that you've been working on absolutely yes shall we let's okay. go okay voila okay oh my god this is so cool <laughs> tell me what is this machine yeah, it's a cyclette, a vintage cyclette that uh, I transformed in a, a shredder cyclette. It's very simple to use. You can just cycle and uh, the plastic enter here with the blades. You can uh, cut the plastic and uh, here down uh, you have the result. And with this one you do workshops? Yeah, it's uh, so beautiful to recycle plastic and uh, having fun and sport and uh, lose uh, weight. So, so. <laughs> and the cool thing is that it, it, this is actually not a bicycle. It's one of these uh, cyclet for old people to stay fit. Yeah. Right. So there's yeah. very little work to be done. You just yeah. need to repaint it, and then you put a shredded box there. And it's pretty much done, correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. And you're gonna make a how-to regarding that, right? So you're gonna teach yeah. the community how to build this bicycle shredder. Yeah, right? absolutely. This is made with a double-axis shredder, but. Um, you can also put the precious plastic shredder or other kind of shredder. This is very good for bottles, but you can have different blades and so you can shred caps and all kinds of plastic, starting from the strongest to the softest. Yeah. Okay, cool. Voila! This is an injection machine and uh, it's uh, hardware because uh, it has a wheel and a system of making pressure. It's very strong because it can have 800 kilograms of pressure. Here we have the heating bands. Here we have the, the system to making pressure the ground to the nozzle. This wheel uh, is very funny for people because uh, it's uh, like uh, sheep uh, wheel you can use it to have very detailed uh, objects like uh, toys like arts joint for making structure like uh, these sunglasses that are very cool 
<laughs> this machine is very powerful, but it not needs so much electricity. You can use it uh, very easily at house, in your garage maybe. You don't need an uh, industrial net. Okay, so this machine you've actually designed yourself, right? I mean, yeah. iterations of iterations, a lot of people have built a arbor press on top of the fresh plastic injection machine. Yeah, uh, it has laser cutted parts, it has laid parts, and uh, this frame that is soldering, uh -huh. and then it's just to uh, put together, yeah. Little update for the YouTube crowd. We are in the process of open sourcing this Arbor Press. We're going to be releasing a video plus documentation on how to build your own precious plastic Arbor Press. Very hyped about that, so make sure to stick around, subscribe so that you can get notified once we will be able to share this machine. And so you started from the precious plastic injection machine, you made a few iterations, yeah. and this is the final product which looks so neat. Oh Thank God. you. Thank you. It's amazing. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah. I mean, this is like an injection machine for your desktop, right? Yeah. It's so compact, it's so well designed. I'm also guessing it works very nicely. Tell me more about this machine. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, it's very designed, yes. I like to project it to have uh, uh, near your PC, your laptop, and um, it's uh, very small. Uh, it's very simple to use because uh, it has a motorized piston. The eating band are inside. It's perfect for small objects, this kind of size of objects. It has an electrical motor inside uh, that is 12 volts uh, working. You have just to put it on, set the temperature, and then down or up to put the plastic and then to put the plastic inside your mold. I use it for uh, making uh, little objects. It's very fast to, to make ducks <laughs> for me, but you can make uh, everything you want. All right, Ivan, thank you very much for your time. I really hope that you all got very much inspired by today's video, by these beautiful machines, by these beautiful stories, and this magic little world of Precious Plastic Torino. And we'll see you in the next video. Ciao!